Hello fellow cine enthusiasts, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today is Classic Movie Thursdays here on my channel, my version of Throwback Thursdays. Today's movie that I am reviewing is one of my favorite, favorite classic movies of all time and one of my absolute favorite musicals, Singing in the Rain. I have such fond memories of watching Singing in the Rain and it's just a movie I've been really dying to watch lately. I haven't seen it in a while so I stuck it on and I want to review it for you guys. Singing in the Rain is a mocking look at Hollywood in the 1920s when sound was coming in so it takes Gene Kelly's character of Don Lockwood and then you have Donald O'Connor's character of Cosmo Brown and Gene Hagen's excellent, wonderful, amazing, incredible, absolutely perfect character of Lena Lamont and how they are coping with the coming of sound. Singing in the Rain starts off with a movie premiere for two of Hollywood's biggest silent screen stars and great silent film couple, Don Lockwood and Lena Lamont. Their movies are an absolute hit, they make a lot of money for the studios, and it goes over great. The premiere goes wonderful, and Lena wants to make a speech at the end, but they will not let her, and with good reason. She has a very, very high-pitched, annoying voice, and nobody can find out about her annoying, whining, high-pitched, weird voice, because she has to have the image that her voice would match how she looks on the screen. After the movie, Don and Cosmo are on their way to the premiere party at the studio head's house and Cosmo's car gets a flat tire. And then Don is just absolutely mobbed by fans so he gets away and he actually jumps into the car of Kathy Selden played by Debbie Reynolds and they actually wind up going to the same party. Kathy decides to mess with Don. She knows exactly who she is, and you come to find that out later, but you can see that she's a little bit devilish, and she plays like the screen isn't legitimate, and she wants to be an actress on stage, and that kind of gets under his skin, so next time Don sees Cosmo, he's like, you have to remind me that I'm a good actor. So at this party, the studio head actually shows them talking picture like somebody who's been coming into his office and trying to sell him on talking pictures and that Warner Brothers is making the jazz singer all this stuff so then the studio has to try and get into the sound game and it's kind of like that and then Kathy eventually becomes mixed up in all this because they need to make Lena sound good and, and everything else singing in the rain is just a great story I probably just totally butchered it there's no bad dance number in this movie. Singing in the Rain is one of the most iconic classic musicals that has ever been made. You know, you have Gene Kelly jumping up on the lamppost and Singing in the Rain. Everybody has seen that in picture form or has seen that musical number. Every musical number is just top notch. My favorite musical number is Good Morning. I absolutely love that song. I love how bouncy it is. I love how it's just so much fun. Even when I just listen to it on my iPod, the song is just so much fun. And then you automatically think of Donald O'Connor, Debbie Reynolds, and Gene Kelly dancing to it all over the house. If you're like me and you know Singing in the Rain, the musical number so well, you can listen to it on your iPod too. And you could just picture Gene Kelly dancing and jumping up on the light post and splashing through the puddles at exactly that moment you hear all his taps and everything. That's how much I love this movie. I just, I can just listen to the songs and I know all the moves and just the entire scene plays out in my head no matter what I'm doing. My head is in that happy world of singing in the rain. So much is always said about the dancing. You know, you have great moments, obviously, like I just mentioned with singing in the rain, good morning, and you know, Moses supposes that's such a Oh, that's like a brilliant, brilliant dance number. I go crazy thinking about it. I don't, I don't even dance. I just, you know, I can appreciate it. That's amazing, that dance number. And then you have Broadway Melody with that scene, those two scenes with Sid Charisse in this green, gorgeous flapper costume. And then that beautiful, beautiful white number that's just, you know, being pushed in the air. And her and Gene Kelly do this wonderful ballet and they're all wrapped up in it. 
nobody ever really talks about the comedic moments and everything else that's in it you know obviously the dance numbers it is a musical everybody's going to talk about that and you know how great those are and how influential they've been to movies and to dancers and everything like that but i really i love the story i love the characters i love all of them especially lena lamont lena lamont as i said is to me one of the absolute all-time greatest movie characters ever you know she's always asking what do you think i am dumb or something no she's really really freaking smart because she kind of bites the head of the studio on the butt you know and i love her so much i love jean hagen in that role nobody could have played her any better and that was just a wonderful character lena lamont i think deserves more credit I, obviously you can tell how much i adore her I think she's one of the greatest antagonists in a movie ever. You know, like I said, because she does come back and bite everyone on the ass at the, you know, towards the end of the story. And then, you know, obviously she does get hers at the end. I just love her. And every time she opens her mouth, I just die. I know this entire movie by heart. I know scene for scene, shot for shot, dance number for dance number. And every time that woman opens her mouth, I'm done. I lose it. Debbie Reynolds and Donald O'Connor, you know, they, they're they always talked about with the dancing as well. Their acting was great. I love Debbie Reynolds in this movie. She was so adorable. She was so perfect, too, for the role. Donald O'Connor was so funny. And even outside of the dance numbers, he had just such a great fluid movement to the way he walked, to the way he delivered his lines, to the way he acted. He was fantastic. Everybody, Gene Kelly, you know, the guy wasn't so much of a great actor, but obviously he was and is one of the greatest dancers that has ever graced the screen. As someone who's very passionate about classic films, I love the satire of Singing in the Rain. I love its take on the 1920s and a lot of the producers were around in the 20s they were there when mgm was becoming big and was becoming one of the great studios in the 20s so a lot of it was a great satire for them especially the dance number beautiful girls were there going through all the clothes from the 20s that was supposed to be really funny and over time it's kind of lost its joke and not a lot of people get it but it is a satire on the fashion the whole movie is just a satire and a take on the inside of hollywood and how it worked at the time in the 20s and how it probably even worked at the time in the 50s i love that because i understand it the more i watch singing in the rain the more i understand what it's referencing and what it's making fun of and it's, I love that. I lo that's what endears me to this movie even more is because I understand the old Hollywood references and I love it. Singing in the Rain is an absolutely timeless film. It's just timeless from the dancing, the music, the take on Hollywood, satire of it all. I was watching a documentary a lot of people who are dancers were saying that it is very contemporary and you know I I said I don't know dance I'm not a dancer I don't act but I understand what they mean I think it's one of those movies people are just gonna keep watching over and over and it's not going to ever feel like it's outdated you know I don't think the dancing is and I think what helps it a lot too is that it's supposed to be set in the 1920s it's not set in 1952 when the year that it was released people for generations are going to be watching this and just absolutely adoring it and become inspired I'm inspired to be a happier person whenever Gene Kelly starts singing, singing in the rain, you know, I'm so, I feel so happy. I hope you somewhat enjoyed my ramblings and incoherent thoughts and review of singing in the rain. If you happen to like this review in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have seen singing in the rain. 
I want to talk about it. I love this movie so much. I can go on and on about it all the time. And also, if you have any suggestions of what movies I should watch for Classic Movie Thursdays and also other movies in general, please also leave them down in the comments because I like to review movies, any kind. That's what I do on this channel. And if you would like to see more Classic Movie Thursdays and other film reviews, please hit that subscribe button. As always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.